So this is the brand new 2021 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. Now, if you're a big fan of uh, Toyota trucks, you already know that the TRD Pro stands for something very unique and special because it's basically a limited edition model with uh, a host of upgraded um, suspensions and other pieces to make this truck stand out from among the, um, the normal Tacoma models. And this particular one, the 2021 model, uh, comes in the new Lunar Rock color. The Lunar Rock is brand new for 2021 for Tacoma TRD Pro. It's only available on the TRD Pro. Now you could, you can also get that Lunar Rock color in uh, in the RAV4. Um, but other than that, this color is pretty unique, and we expect this to be the most um, sought after color for this lineup. You can also get the Tacoma TRD Pro in other more of a normal, I guess, if you call it, uh, colors such as black and white and even magnetic gray now. Um, but this um, Lunar Rock color, first of all, from exterior, I know lots of lots of controversial comments about whether this looks like, like, uh, <laughs> does it look like a poo color or does it look like a throw up color or is it, what does it look like? Is it a green tea? Is it a mint? You know, it's so many different uh, perspective on what this color really looks like. I can tell you, uh, looking from it um, in person, the color is way nicer than you think. This is uh, neither green nor gray. It's kind of in between. And depending on how you look at it, the color will reflect and provide a different a feel. Uh, but what I can say is that in general speaking, it has a bit of a uh, kind of the cement Toyota Tacoma also comes in, but it's kind of like a cement color with a tinge of green added. But it looks less green than you think in person. And um, it's almost like the army green and the cement put together and divided by half sort of thing. Army green was also a special color last year in 2020 Tacoma TRD Pro. So that's sort of the exterior part of this car. It hasn't changed all that much, particularly compared to 2020. Um, the TRD Pro and the Tacoma lineup hasn't changed all that much, but it did receive a host of upgrades in 2020 versus the 2019. Now, as an engineer, I will have a slightly different perspective on how I would uh, evaluate this car. I was a former automotive engineer, both in manufacturing and design for some of the big car companies. And so I have a particular way I will be evaluating this car. Uh, one of the first thing I would do is to check for the body fit and finish. That's often a good reflection of how well the car is built. Uh, this truck is uh, built in the Texas factory of, uh, of the Toyota family. Uh, they are also building this in uh, Mexico as well. But this particular one came from a Texas factory. Lots of questions as to whether there's a difference in quality between the Mexican factory and the US one. And being a, a Toyota product, I really don't think there is any difference. So let's take a look at the quality of the body of this car. So my usual test is to run my fingers between the, all the different seams for a couple of reasons. One is to figure out whether the gap is consistent all the way through and it's whether or not the gap is also tight. So you can tell a typical um, Toyota fashion, the gap is very consistent all the way through. It doesn't become narrow or wide, but it's consistent all the way through. And then the height difference between this side and this side, that's another key measure. In both cases, this is almost perfect. As good as you're going to ever get in a car, regardless of the price. I did notice a little bit of uh, a difference in the height between here and here, but very marginal. You do the same thing with the door panels here. Almost perfect, as good as a uh, $100,000 Lexus. Another test here. Also run the finger along here to make sure that the panels are tight. And again, to make sure that this gap stays consistent all the way through. And the rest of, of course, there's no more seams here, but uh, as I go through the back, I did notice a slightly difference in gap between this width and this. That's easily adjustable, I think. A very minor, but um, it, when it comes to the paint job, this super special Lunar Rock color, 
I can tell you by looking through the side here, see the whole panel, every single panel looks like they came from a single solid metal. And this kind of a very consistent paint job and the body finish is very reflective, reflective of Toyota factory's quality. It's very hard to get that level of consistent body finish and you can see right away on this Tacoma, the body finish all the way through is consistent and um, absolutely almost perfect. And of course, if you look at all the different surveys, uh, such as JD Power Survey or Consumer Report, Tacoma consist consistently ranks high in terms of build finish. So you know this car will last a long time with a very high reliability factor. Now what about the basic design of this Tacoma TRD Pro? Uh, of course there's some key uh, differentiation between this and other Tacomas, but in terms of the, um, the change from 2020 to 2021, there isn't any except for this color in terms of exterior side. Um, but I also own the 2019 Tacoma TRD Pro and there are some notable differences from that and I'll get into that a little bit more. But the basic design is uh, aged well. This is like one of those designs that everyone seems to like it. I just had someone come over and, and told me how much uh, he liked this uh, look and feel of this truck. And surprising knowing that this design haven't changed for a while. But it's what I call um, timeless design. It doesn't look old. It, does, it doesn't look super modern. Uh, but it aged very well. So design is great. They did change the design of the wheels, aluminum wheels. The TRD wheels last year and it's actually lighter to provide a slightly better handling which also resulted in a, a revised suspension setting as well um, whether the new design looks better than the old one again it's a personal taste this particular truck comes with a factory installed uh, deal, uh, by the dealer uh, uh, OEM tonal cover which again there's many many discussion as to which tonal cover is the best I'll get into a little bit later on on that, uh, but this one comes with the factory tunnel and also the factory roof, roof rack, which has a built-in cross, uh, cross bars as well. Uh, this one also has the Toyota factory OEM aluminum um, bars here to stand on to when you get into the car. Otherwise, it's all stock in this particular beautiful Tacoma TRD Pro. Now let's um, take a brief look through the interior of the Tacoma TRD Pro. Uh, this truck has gone through some major changes last year uh, when they updated the whole infotainment system with uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Play. Um, otherwise, there's not a huge difference uh, over the years. Uh, but again, let's get back into the fit and finish first. As all Toyota cars are, um, all the quality of the material and the fit and how they come together is absolutely first class. You can see by looking at the seam, uh, even the steering wheel stitching, if you look at it carefully, uh, these are all first class work, as good as you will find in the Porsche or Lamborghini. And all the plastic pieces fit without any hollow sound. So I like to often just knock on it a little bit to see if anything is loose. Again, as an engineer who designed cars for a living, uh, I have a particular way to look at the cars. So I move things around and make sure that things fit, uh, that things uh, are not loose. And you can tell everything is super tight and even the seats as well. It's got a nice TRD Pro um, embossed in here and the seat quality seems excellent. The leather, this is a leather seat on the Tacoma TRD Pro. It also comes this year with um, this new um, all weather mats are slightly different than the previous years. It's got a higher size so that the water won't um, get into the carpet underneath. And uh, otherwise, it's uh, pretty similar to previous previous generation of Tacoma TRD Pros. Uh, you have all the controls here at your fingertip. I like the way the Toyota designs everything. It's pretty simple to figure out. Some car companies make these switches way too complicated. You can't quite figure out what what it, what it does. Um, now there is also in the dash, there's in the center of the dash, there's additional information. You can, you can see it's like this has a tire pressure, but you can keep scrolling and look for messages or change the setting. Uh, this part of it is, it's not difficult to use, but perhaps not as well integrated as newer 
uh, trucks from other manufacturers where everything is integrated into a single infotainment system here. But nevertheless, it's easy to read and easy to adjust and move around. Um, one of the small complaints is that these buttons, well, first of all, it's great to have the buttons all the way through, so that's really helpful. Uh, this knob is a little small, perhaps, and uh, sometimes hard to grab onto, but um, other than that, all the buttons are easy to adjust and move around. You have the seat warmer, of course. Um, temperature is all automatic. Um, and so you do get uh, dual temperature setting as well. And this particular truck has a uh, third party optional, these little rubber mats that you can insert, put into all these different cup holders to uh, just kind of brighten up the design, but also to make it less slippery. Um, and then back to the infotainment system here, it's your standard Toyota system here. And so you can go through all the different elements. And again, they've improved it over the years and it's definitely, um, it's, it's definitely a huge improvement over some of the older ones that you see in other Toyota products. Um, it is not 100% intuitive yet because sometimes you gotta go into the menu, a few different settings to change um, and, and some of the micro settings, but otherwise it's pretty straightforward. You have your, obviously a Bluetooth, um, but if you plug it into this USB outlet onto your phone, then you can use the uh, Android or Apple CarPlay. Now that is maybe one minor, also another minor complaint is that you have to plug in with an actual um, cable, you know, in order for Apple CarPlay to work. It's not wireless, which is um, what you see in some of the newer models. But again, it's not a big deal for me. Um, I'm happy to plug it in as soon as I move into the truck to give it a try. Uh, everything else is pretty good. Uh, there's um, a host of features here for off-roading uh, that you can adjust the crawl speed and so forth. And uh, this is some of the typical Tacoma features. This one also has a roof. So it's got all of the luxury features that you would expect in any upscale car, but you have it in a truck. Pretty impressive. Just one minor thing to keep in mind is that there is a switch here to open the um, rear um, small window at the back of the truck that opens that one um, but it doesn't obviously open all the way like it does in the tundra the entire window goes down so that's something to keep in mind also uh, there is no uh, rear defroster like you will find in the tundra and people wonder oh my goodness that's crazy not to have a rear defroster in the modern uh, modern auto market here but uh, actually, because the truck is reasonably compact, when you put the um, front um, defroster on, uh, there's enough air circulation that comes through the front. It goes all the way around and it defrosts pretty quickly. So unless you are in a super cold, um, super freezing temperature and you left the truck all night or all or for a few days, uh, it's absolutely no problem without the defrost in the back. Now, if you're consistently parking your car outside in a, a very cold uh, freezing temperature and you want to defrost it quickly then yes it's not gonna happen very quickly with uh, with simply warm air blowing through the truck otherwise um, everything works the way it's supposed to and surprisingly you have this nice fat steering here with a little bump much like you'll find a sports car a bit uh, <laughs> unexpected in the truck but really really good steering feel actually this is uh, this bit of a grippy feel here that you see, along with the leather here. This combination is pretty cool. Let's take it for a spin. So let's see how this Tacoma TRD Pro drives. We're not going uh, off-roading or anything like this, but um, I've now been driving this truck for a number of days. And first of all, in comparison to a 2019 TRD Pro that uh, I did actually own, the 2021 version has gotten a little bit um, a, a con more controlled. The suspension is a little bit more controlled. It's less bouncy. Uh, it's even slightly quieter. And you can tell when you go over a bump like this. Um, it's just the overall feels a little bit tighter, a little bit quieter, and a little bit more refined, which is surprising uh, because they haven't made all that many changes for 2021. They have adjusted the suspension somewhat because they made the uh, 
the aluminum wheels lighter um, so therefore they have to make some adjustment to the suspension itself um, but otherwise they didn't really make any technical substantial engineering change but this truck does feel a little bit more tighter uh, a little bit more refined uh, even quieter than the 2019 model i did drive previously and just looking through um through from the inside the view is great front and back uh, because it's a compact truck or mid-size truck it's actually still pretty reasonably easy to park and uh, drive around um, still a little bit tricky to park in tight underground parking spaces perhaps perhaps but nothing compared to a full-size truck is much much more easier to maneuver than a full-size truck um, this TRD Pro has a TRD Pro exhaust so when you step on it it's got a bit of a <laughs> um, bit of a, um, a throaty sound which is just right again in the 2019 model I used to drive I do remember the exhaust sounding a little bit more boony a little bit more louder and so I do feel like the, they made a slight adjustment there as well. It's a little bit quieter, not as loud, uh, but still let you know there is a like, performance exhaust in this truck. And I would say just about the right sound. It's not super loud. As I mentioned, suspension is surprisingly refined. So let's say if you're comparing this to something like a 4Runner TRD Pro, um, this truck is actually very composed, very similar. The 4Runner has a slightly softer feel even. Um, but on the Tacoma, it's pretty tight. Um, and so even though it's not a sports truck per se, you never feel like the truck is too soft and out of control. It does have the special TRD Pro Fox suspension. So it can take bumps and um, irregular surfaces much better than perhaps a, a standard Tacoma. Uh, but I also feel like it has a better control overall. It's just a, a really amazing suspension. Uh, so driving around town with this uh, Tacoma, very easy truck to drive. Honestly, it feels a lot like many other SUVs around. Uh, this car just uh, cut in front of me here. Um, anyways, so um, very easy car to drive. And the steering, by the way, something to keep um, note of is that this, along with some other Toyota trucks like the 4Runner and the uh, Tundra, it still has the hydraulic steering. So many, many cars have shifted and moved into electric mechanical steering. Uh, now, when people say, oh, wow, the new cars have electric steering, it's not, it's not, it doesn't mean it's complete electric. There's still a mechanical a gear that connects the steering to the wheels. But uh, the motor that moves the steering in terms of the power assist, it's either electric, electric motor or it's a hydraulic system and on this car is the hydraulic system and what that really means you get a great great road feel that is now nearly absent in all in all other types of um, um, cars you find in today's modern age um, but because this has a hydraulic steering uh, steering feel is reasonably hefty so it's a little bit heavier than what you might feel in uh, normal passenger cars but you most of all you get this feel when you move the steering you can actually feel the road and you can feel the car moving uh, whereas in electric steering cars you can move the steering and you just don't really feel anything at all just you feel very disconnected and numb um, so you don't get that so I think the amount of the amount of feel you get on this Tacoma is excellent it's um, it's the feel is better than uh, in the General Motors mid-side trucks uh, that I've uh, driven as well. Uh, it's uh, way better than the Honda uh, pickup truck because the steering on that car is it is electric mechanical steering and is very light in feel and kind of numb. Again, nothing wrong with that light steering, but I like the sort of a, a heavier steering feel because that's what you often want to get from a truck. Um, Otherwise, uh, a pleasure and a joy to drive this truck. You do feel like, uh, hey, I am driving a truck. You're feeling tall. You got this throaty exhaust. You got this firm um, but comfortable suspension. You're constantly reminded that you're not driving a normal sport utility car, but you are definitely driving a truck. So uh, brakes, uh, uh, f brake fuels are excellent, uh, very solid. Um, could we use a little bit more power on this truck? Absolutely, it's not a super powerful car by any means, but more than enough 
more than enough power and torque to go around town and drive up up even hills or tow something uh, and of course there's enough grunt to go off-roading which is what this truck is really meant to be so even though most of the city dwellers are not gonna take this uh, truck off-roading it's kind of good to know that it has that capability and it's able to go uh, into places where normal trucks and normal SUVs simply cannot go and that's really the strength of this brand and of this product is to go anywhere can do anything attitude and um, performance that makes the Tacoma absolutely one of the best truck to buy so in my normal ranking here if I were to give it a report card rank ranking of kind of ABC uh, what would I give I would give this truck a solid A minus uh, why not A or A plus well I think I could use a little bit more power uh, some of the features are a little bit outdated com in comparison to newer uh, newer trucks out there um, and um, again so there are some features lacking and and so forth so uh, but it's almost perfect as um, off-road go anywhere pickup truck with a uh, excellent world-class reliability so I give it a solid A minus and then the other question is if I own this truck would I still like it in three years time would I still keep would I keep it or would I change it to something else well unless Toyota comes up with a, even a better truck which they will eventually I'm sure uh, I would say if I did own this truck in three years I will absolutely continue to keep it and continue to enjoy driving because it's got one of those very a solid truck feel and but yet with a refinement and and smoothness that you don't always find in typical trucks so um i think i would definitely keep this car beyond three years if i were to own this one so great tacoma trd pro truck um you would absolutely enjoy if you own this one truck and the last comment i will add is just uh, comparing this uh, tacoma trd pro to some other compact mid-side trucks out there, whether it's a General Motors product, Colorado, um, or Honda Ridgeline, or um, Ford Ranger, um, of course Dodge. The Dodge doesn't have a mid-side truck yet, but um, and I have driven every single one of those trucks often extensively. And here's the, here's the difference. First of all, the Tacoma TRD Pro still uses traditional hydraulic steering and a very solid very high performance off-road suspension system and so in terms of comparing the basic feel the basic ride and the performance it's absolutely first class i would say the steering feel and the handling of this T tacoma trd pro has uh, a, a more of a performance off-road feel than many of its competitors especially in comparison to lay, let's say something like honda's model which of course that is not a true truck it's essentially um, a minivan or station wagon converted to look like a truck so that is a very different type of truck but even compared to Ford Ranger or uh, a General Motor or Chevrolet product I think the refinement is a little bit higher on this one the steering feel is better as well it's a little bit more solid and the suspension of all the things that I can say the suspension of the Tacoma TRD Pro is absolutely outstanding it's comfortable it's refined and smooth and yet it can take bumps and shocks with the ease and that fox suspension i think is really hard to beat i think in comparison to its competitors uh toyota has really really refined the suspension system to near perfection uh, overall in terms of value um, the price is actually quite attractive on the trd pro uh, some of the other competitors products can get a little bit higher even and of course you don't get as much feature perhaps on this as you might find in let's say honda because honda has a very modern features but there's not a huge difference and overall the value is absolutely outstanding on this truck because you have to keep in mind the resale value of the tacoma trd pro is outstanding you absolutely <laughs> probably will not lose much money if you keep this truck for a year or two and sell it again because it's a limited edition or very limited volume product and not only that because of the reputation of the tacoma and the trd pro lineup you just get absolutely amazing resale value i had a 2019 tacoma trd pro and i had it for a year and i sold it for almost the same price i bought it so uh, i expect the same on the 2021 model like this so overall great great value for the money